Hello everybody, welcome to Linux video. If you are new to Linux, you have installed Linux for the first time but you don't know what to do next. Mm, in case if you haven't installed Linux, so you can see my video link in the description. You can watch that and install by step by step. I have shown you. Here we will see what you need to do after installing Linux Mint at first you need to update and upgrade your system just open your terminal ok open your terminal and just write sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade upgrade it will ask you for the password uh, this is the password of your computer that you set when you installed it do you want to continue yes we want to continue it will take long time just wait until the process is finished once update and upgrade is done, next thing we are going to do is time shifting. It is a advanced, a advanced Linux user or a beginner. Everyone should have a backup for his Linux system. All it takes is just one sudo command to go wrong and you will be sent back to the stone age. Linux show you no mercy when you don't have a solid backup. So we are going to backup everything. It will that will take snapshot and we can shift to the previous state. Okay. By using time shift, we are going to do that. Installing time shift is very easy. Just run the command sudo apt time shift shift but by default in linux pin it is already installed so we are not going to install it we are going to use it just open your menu and search for time shift time shift it will ask you for your password when you are first time you are going to open time shift you can't see this one okay you just need to go to wizard from here you need to set up i'll keep it rsinc next and this is my partition selected next and daily or weekly select the snapshot level for now i am going to make it daily okay it will daily update next and finish setup is complete now all you need to have is create this create this uh, time shift okay snapshot it will take few minutes to create okay you can see snapshot is created now we can add a comment here initial or anything you can comment now we can back up your data okay next thing we are going to do is we are going to install codec so we can run audio video and any other multimedia easily and uh, without any restriction okay just search for linux min codecs from here you can see um, mint meta codecs just click here from here we are going to install it so our audio video and any other multimedia that can run smoothly uh, we can run it by using uh, open xdg open it's saying package mint meta codecs is already installed in my system if you haven't installed it then it it will go to install for you okay 
Okay, next step is to install some of the essential software that you will need to use every day in your life on Linux. Okay, for example, Google Chrome for internet browsing, VLC player for multimedia. All of the essential software of Linux that I used on my everyday life, I have made a YouTube playlist from there you can see all of the videos and install on my own but here for example I am making this video so let's install this VLC player the VLC player installation is very simple you can go to their official download of VLC multimedia player you can go there and see the command but here they are showing the option go for the linux linux installation uh, platform linux linux ubuntu click on this ubuntu here the installation process is very simple if you haven't installed snap then you should install it this is a linux package manager this is a linux package manager this is for intermediate and advanced user you can use this this is very important next important thing is to install snap this is a package manager similar to apt when you when you use this command sudo apt this apt is a package manager now we are going to use another package manager that, that is snap so just write sudo apt install we are going to use apt to install snap okay just run this command it will ask you for your password enter your password you see this is running done wait until the process finish this is 13 mb 13.7 mb okay i have installed snap successfully okay next thing we are going to do, do is we are going to install vlc player to just go to google and search for vlc player from the, their official website that is video land you can see there are some of the download option let's click on this next linux and because linux mint is ubuntu based operating system so we are going to select ubuntu and installing vlc player through snap this is very easy just copy this command and control shift v it will paste your command on the terminal just press enter it will ask you for the password i think it won't ask for password because uh, in previous command we have given our password VLC player is done installing then you can check out for more essential software just search for soft software manager in Linux Mint here you can find lots of software for Linux that you are going to need in your daily use here you see in software manager you can see virtualbox google earth skype gparted firefox and lots of software you can for example you are searching for internet browser then you should go to this section there are some categories video and sound from here you can install your favorite video player you can see at first this is VLC player and Audacity but one thing to remember if you install from here then you uh, most probably you will not get the latest release version to get the latest release, release version I made a video tutorial series on that how to install essential software from there I, I have shown you how to install the latest version for your linux okay for example you want to install Beam. the process is very simple click on this Beam, and 
click on this install button it will be installed uh, it may ask your password just enter your password okay now next thing I am going to show you is set up your theme and desktop icons so let's see go to this menu from here just uh, go to preferences in preferences look for themes themes here you see windows border you can change windows border uh, it to black you see this made black okay i want i want to make it black and icon there are lots of different color for icon i'm going to select purple for now control button control button let's make it black also and mouse pointer also make it black because i like black i also like white but it is more eye comfortable color when you are spending lots of time on your desktop then you should use black instead of white okay now desktop theme you can see lots of theme out there linux mint now next step is night light effect if you are a developer or a network expert then you should use this effect nowadays it is mandatory in any operating system or smartphone unfortunately in linux mint there is no option for that so linux mint comes with the option that is redshift this is the alternative of night light over here you can see an icon just right click on it make sure it is enabled and auto start after sunset it will be read to your operating system so it will be more comfortable to your eye okay okay next thing we are going to do is just click on this battery icon we are going to configure our battery by showing the percentage and time remaining you see on here you can see the percentage of our battery is 48 and time remaining 32 minutes now when it's done by default when you install linux mint for the first time you can see the sound is very low you should increase it it is a basic process next thing we are going to do is we are going to configure our firewall when you are in home network you are already protected by your isp firewall that is provided by your isp internet service provider and your router is already protected by that firewall but when you are at public network then you are unsecured so what you need to do just search for firewall firewall configuration it will ask you for the password enter the password at least you just set up this to public so it will protect your public route next and the last thing comes in my mind is if you can find any bugs you should fix it by searching on google otherwise if any other bug you can find you can comment me down below i will try to help you out so don't run your linux with any error so just make sure you don't have any error if have one then let me know or search on google there is a website that is called super user you can find lots of solution over there and if you can't find there then you can post it here in the comment section okay that's all for this video tutorial if you like this video please like comment and subscribe help me to grow my channel thank you thank you for your support guys